Hi guys. I wanted to talk today about self, but really it's why we're in such turmoil, seemingly, because of sin, guys. We're in his will, a lot of us, but we're not following his way. Let me, you know, fast forward it a little bit. Um, I'm kind of in the trial right now of the testing of my faith because of some things I did. Well, I was in his will, but I deviated just a little bit. Just enough to, because it was self-will. I knew what God wanted me to do. I just wanted to put my spin on it my way. And now I'm like, so I have to separate, just do a lot of it myself. But it wasn't, it's a punishment. It was that I wanted to get away from distractions of people, places, just things, and just find out what was really going on. And I did, I didn't like it, but I found out that I wasn't in his well. I wasn't doing it his way. It was my way. And I asked the Lord, I said, well, Lord, why didn't you show me this when I had the capabilities and resources and the opportunities and time and everything that I, you know, to do all this? And he said, he spoke to me, he said, because I don't want you to think that you were doing it. I'm going to do it. And it's been a little painful, guys, honestly, but that's where we're at as a as a, as, a, as a nation right now and why we have so much turmoil because we've been disobedient we've been in in his will but it's more like the wilderness because we wanted it our way I don't don't do it anymore because I turned my TV off um but years ago I used to like to watch the um history channel and i just like to watch world war ii shows and just different things about you know the wars um because my dad was a korean vet and it just you know it was really intri intriguing and interesting well this one show i was watching of course i know why or you what you're going to say but um, it was a ship and it was full of uh, full of marines and they're about to go into battle of course there was some navy personnel in there too i'm sure but it was the chaplain, and he was praying for everybody before they went into battle. There wasn't one single person looking up and around. Nobody, of course, had cell phones. They weren't involved in their self. They were willing to lay down their lives for what they believed in. But they were all praying. Of course, I get it. You know, everybody's a Christian when they're in the foxhole. You know that saying or whatever the saying is but now these guys were serious respectful nowadays it's popular to and i get it racism is ugly reality but nowadays it's popular to stand up loud and proud and bend a knee for some cause but it's all about self this one's free. Selfies, okay? Well, I'll bet even start. You know, I'm gonna take a picture of myself and my and my, and my dinner at Denny's or wherever. Okay. Interesting. No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. If you're cooking it, yeah, there might be. You know, there's people like cooking shows and stuff. That might have some interest to some people, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people. They, they, that's pretty um, I mean it's not bad to have an interest in cooking there's nothing wrong with that but to sit and show it you know so what I'm saying is guys that we've been disobedient to his word and we've got caught up in the self the little foxes are spoiling the vine they're destroying us as a nation as a people you can't pray in school you can't you can't pray in the courthouse. You can't pray on the streets. 
now in certain states you can't even go to church hardly without being the government railroading you into something. Because it was it's not about politics, it's that people wanted sin more than they want Jesus. I was there too, guys, and you know, that was forty years ago. And even during that 40 year, in this last 40 year journey, I've stumbled, fell more than once. Been a prodigal son for years serving him. Mad at God for something I did. Didn't see it that way. There again, my will. <clears throat> We've got to get away and turn away from our wicked ways, guys, and repent, not just as a nation, but as a people. Because it's, it's about to get ugly if we don't turn from our ways. Ugly meaning, or very ugly, and just downright evil is gonna take over if we let it. Because we're so caught up in ourselves That's why it's hard for people to pray. That's why it's hard for people to sit through a church service. That's why it's hard for people to, you know. I put out this one about 5 a.m. prayer. I'm not saying people aren't doing it. What I'm saying is the reason why is because there's no distractions. There's no YouTube, cell phone, Facebook, none of the stuff. Unless you turn it on, you make a choice. And that's why that 5 a.m. prayer is so important. But anyhow, guys, we've got to turn and take a stand as Christians, Christ-like, letting him live and be portrayed in us, and live through us, and not us living through him. But him living through us. We're in the way. Our way. Self, self-righteous, self, I can do this, self-reliance, you know, I, man, all the stuff on Facebook, YouTube now is all the rage about somebody raging and somebody else about something, even if it's right, guys, and even if it's a good point, and even if it's a good stance, why is that so newsworthy, why is that so wanting to grab our attention? Because we're so, you know, you don't think we're a self, self-seeking self centered nation? Man, everything in Hollywood is vigilantes, sex, uh, drunkenness, just indulgence, just... There's an ice cream chain, 45 different flavors, you know, you can go everywhere you go. I mean, I live in a big city, Dallas. Guys, I drive down the street and it's shopping center after shopping center after shopping center there's on a corner there's four of them big ones all different some chain stores and some little stores and it's like man and then the next block same thing same thing same thing block after block after block after block after block that's why we're in turmoil guys We've lost our first love. We're so caught up. Even this YouTube and Facebook and just, you know, we want to be, you know, breaking news. We want the latest and greatest cell phone. And man, guys. Housing markets and just crazy stuff, guys. We're, you know, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with, with owning a house. There's nothing wrong with that. And having something nice is not what I'm saying. But we've got it to be, we want it to be our way. Too nice, too convenient, too easy. Because we've been disobedient as a, na as a nation, as a people. We're in a free fall, guys, off the cliff right now, if we don't stop and pray 
and seek his will. And we're going to land, guys, and we're going to hit hard. A lot of us aren't going to make it. I'm just being real straight up with you guys. We've got to make those changes in our lives. And let's set our will aside, lay aside every sin. The sweet Lou said to you, well, that sin right now is the sin of self. Look around, guys. Power grabbing, money grabbing, sick society. And we've let it get that way. Because we just want a piece of it. As long as we got ours, as long as our little island is okay. We're willing to look the other way. I mean, now the, you know, the big rage is, let's go Brandon. Well, we know what that's saying, you know, no respect for anybody. I'm not saying that, you know, because there's evil in that man's heart. I get that. You know, you might not have liked the guy. I'm not I'm saying you have to like him. I'm not saying that I'm even his biggest fan, but Trump got the same same brutal, brutal beating. No respect to fund the police, society. Everybody's yelling and cussing and fussing at each other because they're selfish. We become a, a selfish nation, guys. I'm just looking at the clock on my computer. We've been disobedient. Self-righteous, self-religious. And go into some, pick some of these, you know, medium-sized, even big churches, even some small churches. But man, it's all about the show, the lights, the cameras. It's that deer in the headlight look, guys. It's like, I don't know. Some friends that are in the ministry, and it's like, man, guys, how did you drift so far off? Everything's about the show. 100,000 people and 200,000 got saved and, you know, 1 million are here and blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, great. Awesome. That's really good news. Is it? Are they really truly saved? And what, you know, you're... One city, the next, bounce, blah, 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 blah. Okay, great, awesome. Well, man, was, you know, I have a, another friend that has a ministry behind every, been spot behind every door. Man, it's the real deal, guys. Real church. Where are we at? Self-promoting, self-gloating, self-righteous. And then we wonder why we're living in a polluted land. And that's why, guys. We're willing to look the other way. That saying, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, as long as we get what we want. Cheap gas, lower taxes, whatever. Nicer car, better house, good job, whatever. Pick one. And there's nothing wrong with some of that, to having something nice. There's nothing nothing evil in that. But we've, we've made it an idol. We've become self-righteous, self-will, self-way, self, self, self. Like I said, we've drifted so far. And then we wonder why we're in turmoil. We've been disconnected. We've disconnected ourselves from our source, our true living source. So it's time to get back. Me too. I've had to really do some deep reflecting, you know. I was in his will. I was helping quite a few, quite a few different people. Not like millions or anything, but I was really helping some, in some areas. And so I was in his will. Now I 
want him to do it, what I thought. I uh, analyze it, maybe try to make sense of it, just whatever. Now it's like, man, I got to step back. Not back in time, but I got to step back and pray. What's really going on, God? Because it's, it's gotten off course. So, and right now, I'm in the dying out process of self, literally, medically. Got some major issues going on, but it's part of God taking care of me getting out of myself. Love you guys. Time to get back to the cross. Not just to the cross, but through the cross and the blood of the Lamb. Love you guys. Let's turn this turmoil into victory.